Hello everybody and welcome back to Fae Farm. And this is the start of chapter 2. We may have seen that at the end of last episode. So we need to check the mailbox and see what we need to do. There's a lot of stuff here. Let's have a look. So, uh, multiplayer is open. Did you know your friends can join you in the wonderful world you've created? All you have to do is press start, I think that is. So open the main menu and select multiplayer to begin and you can then invite your friends to your online game or if you'd rather host a local game ask each of your friends to go to their title screen and then join world screen to proceed uh enjoy playing together the fate team interested in dyes ah millie i hear you're new in town maybe you'd like some dyes to start coloring your furniture and clothes i'm sending you a sample of some of my best if you want more dyes find me in the market i've got plenty for sale Scattered scrolls to all Azorians, the recent magical windstorms that sent debris flying had a most peculiar f effect on our shop. In brief, the wind scattered many of our recipe scrolls in all directions. However, we do not wish for them to be returned, as I consider these our contribution to the beautification of Azoria. Follow these recipes and create wonderful things. For example, one special scroll contains a recipe for a customization mirror. I already found that one. This magical invention permits you to change your hair, body, shape and face. You can transform your appearance at will. This and other marvellous creations await those who find and follow our recipes. So we found a few of those already. Magical mischief. So you might have noticed some unusual magical things happening around Azoria. It isn't too serious, except it kind of is. Can you come over and talk, please? Alaric, the wizard. Okay. So Emily is telling me about scrolls, which I don't need to do anything about. Millie wants us to come and see her. And Merit... Is talking about multiplayer. So we need to go and see Millie and Alaric. So two people a day isn't too bad, I don't feel. We probably need to go and check and see whether this needs watering. Mm -hmm. Which it does. That looks like my watering can's level there. So hasn't gone down too much. Whether I have a certain amount per day, whether I need to refill it, I'm not 100% sure. We'll come to that, I guess, when it happens. Oops. I slightly missed there. There we go. So let's go, yeah, let's go find Alaric first, and then we can go and see Millie. I'll do a little bit of chopping and stuff first. I like to do a bit of clearing. I would eventually like to have a massive farm all through this. That would be amazing. Ah. So I imagine I'm not getting that until I get my gold one. The thing is, it always shows like this lovely clear farmland. <laughs> and I'm like, you need to get a really tough axe for that. Ooh. Bug net time. <laughs> I uh, love a good bug net. I'm keeping my bugs at the moment. I don't know if I can hand them in to like collectors or like if there's a museum for them or something. They said there'd be some sort of terrarium later or something. So uh, oh. that goes back to my. All oh, right, okay. Whatever tool I had equipped, it goes back to it. Oh, I've got a new thing today. I've got a blue bar as well as the red and green bars. There's a health bar and a stamina bar. You know, and I know, we all know that I'm going to have to go to everybody. All right, uh, where does Alaric live? East Town, is it? Seemingly so. Okay. So let's head east. Let's head into town and then head to the right, I figure. Oh no, there's more butterflies. I will have to catch them. <laughs> so much easier when you catch them first, Ari, and you don't have to like worry. Uh, okay, so I need to put that away. And get to the scrolls. Oh, an anvil. That sounds useful. Oh, another butterfly. Quick. Okay. Well, I shouldn't even be down here, apparently. Alaric is apparently this way. earth is that? Can I catch it? <laughs> I can. Spring peeper. Hello! 
The wisest wizard in town. Also the only wizard in town. Oh, hello. My old teacher was the greatest. You should have seen the spells he invented for the Fae Festival. The theme quest. Salutations, she lab. My name is Alaric. Your humble wizard of Azoria. At least your name isn't a regular. <laughs> I can't say that word at all. The mayor lets us all pick our titles. She vetoed Mel's first title, which was Azoria's Honey Bear. Uh, yes, of course. You're wondering why I mailed you. Okay, so um, Azoria has lots of magic. Wild magic, to be specific, as in uncontrolled, possibly dangerous magic. Oh, no, I don't mean to worry you. No, I, wait, I do, because it's pretty dangerous. You fear nothing? Well, that's good to hear, but probably doesn't lend to good decision making. I know what I must do. I'll build you a magical staff. You can use it for protection and to harness some of the wild magic. That was my tummy. I've been so worked up I've forgotten to eat, so I imagine that that's my wild magic meter up there. My, my mana. I mean, it's blue, so it probably is mana. Usually stamina is like green or yellow, health is red, mana is blue, so... I've been so worked up I've forgotten to eat. I haven't had a warm meal in days. Do you think you could make me some home-cooked food? I've been eating raw mussels and I think I'm about to turn into one. Pick up a mussel from the beach and deliver broiled shellfish to Alaric. I think I might already have a mussel from the beach, but uh, so probably just need to go home, honestly. Can I just get home this way somehow? And then I'll go see Millie. Oh yeah, they, oh my goodness, they went all that way and he's like... I just needed to turn right. I was like, oh man. Oh, I'll just catch this butterfly to make myself feel better. Okay, so, and this thing. What are you? Oh no, I sat on the log instead. No, no, that's not what I want. No. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I need to go to my campfire and just see if I can uh, boil up a mussel. I can also make a charred fish. I may as well prepare them both. They'll sell for more if nothing else when they're prepared, apparently, you see. More than one thing can cook at once in this fireplace. I like this fireplace. This is a good fireplace. This, fly this fireplace can stay. And things immediately... No, I have to collect them, apparently. But I can press X at the end and just do a big old collect all. So I could probably leave it doing its thing. Come back. You know, I'm going to watch it this time. Because it's not taking too long, to be fair. And then just collect all at the end. Yeah, I'm like it. The UI, the de attention to detail on UI and making this simple um, is not lost on me. It really isn't. It's so, so nice to play. Okay, let's head back to Alaric. At least I know. Oh my goodness! There's one on the roof. Let's see if we can get it. I have to jump on the mushroom. Oh, no, missed the mushroom. Jump from here onto the mushroom. Which I again missed. I need, I need to be a little bit further to the left. Okay, so, okay. Like here. No, that was too far to the right. Ah! And then somehow get onto that roof. Oh my goodness, that's going to be a bit of a, a, a bit of a ask, isn't it? Oh, so I think those might be some. Uh... Of course, I've seen all the bugs now. I'm never getting back to Alaric. There we are. Is it? Got cobblestone path. Yes, I don't know if I've had that before, but there's also another one here. Green checkered rug. Nice. I didn't realise I have to look on people's roofs now. And there's one here. Wizard's mop. Alright, here's your muscle. Oh, hello. My old teacher was the greatest. You should have seen the spells. He invent- oh, right. Yeah, he says that every time. Okay. If you bring me some delicious home-cooked food, I'll have the strength to make you a magical staff. Give items. Broiled shellfish. Give. <laughs> You're back! I smell food! I can feel the life returning to me! 
I can't wait to chow down. I'll spend tonight working in my alchemical lab. Tomorrow morning you'll have your very own magical staff. Now, I don't normally recommend anyone work all night, but times are dire. Come meet me tomorrow over by the biggest patch of thorns. We'll test out the staff's toughness before we tackle anything magical. Defeat thorns with Alaric tomorrow. Okay. So at the moment we're on chapter 2. I forget what chapter 2 is actually called, but let's have a look at the almanac. Uh, does that tell us anything? Not really. Like a quest tracker. Side jobs, romance, friends. Ah, okay. I'll get eventually I'm going to have a lot of different things. No, nope, doesn't tell me the chapter. That's okay. It was something like it was something to do with thorns. It was I it was in there at the end of last uh, episode. Chapter name. Oh my goodness, more bugs. I'll probably sell a few of these guys. But they don't need like a hundred peacock bu peacock butterflies, do I? Right. So the next thing I probably want to do though is change my quest and go see Millie. Um, no. Who's in the town centre? Is Millie in the town centre? Yes. Let's track Millie and go see her. I don't know, though, because she, she's not tracked as a quest giver, but apparently she'll tell me about dyes, so let's just talk to her anyway. Ah, there you are. Springtime's when I go looking for mussels on the beach. They're easy to find. Spring is the best time of year. It feels like everything in nature is coming back to life. Um, open her shop. Let's have a look. So she can sell me a beekeeper outfit. Beekeeper hat. Some ranch skirt. Oh, I've got some new unlocks. Nice. So maybe I can make those myself now I've looked at the shop. Wow. Okay. Just gonna kind of stay on rails and do what it's telling me to do at the moment. I could definitely do a bit of decorating of my house though, couldn't I? I'm just gonna go look at the um the letter again, because it did say if you want to know about dyes, come and see me. Love Millie. So I don't know exactly what's going on there. Maybe I needed to accept something. Uh right trigger to show red mail. Maybe you, okay. I hear you're new in town. Maybe you'd like some dice to start colouring your furniture and clothes. I'm sending you a sample of some of my best. If you want more dice, find me in the market. I've got plenty for sale. Ah, okay. That's fine. But I think for now, it might be good to like see if any of the stuff that I've got in my inventory would make me some nice decorations for my house, maybe. Animals react to the wave emote. Try it. I like that. So I've got quite a bit of stuff in my inventory at the moment. My inventory is actually completely full as well, so I could do with going and selling some stuff. Uh, the problem as well with me... There's no storage. Maybe there is storage, though. Let's have a look. Build catalogue. Cozy furniture. Crafting. I need clay for the beverage station. I had also picked up a scroll for an anvil decor. Rugs and paths. Beds. Stores. Lots of undiscovered stuff. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm being silly here. I'm going to look at I'm looking through that sort of stuff and actually there's a storage shed right here. I was like looking for a chest. And I've got like a massive Um, no, I want to transfer one of each because I'm probably going to want to put one of each of these into like a museum or whatever. But what I don't want, oh, hang on, uh, transfer one of those back. So, and that one. So I just want to keep like one of each of them. I don't want to sell them all. 
I imagine I could probably sell the sand dollar. Uh, I'll keep that just in case as well. Uh, all of the building materials need to stay. In fact, they could probably all go in. I do have a little bit of clay. I'll probably find that later. So probably to have the food on me is useful. And then all the rest of the stuff, all the insects and things, I'm just gonna sell today. So I'm gonna, oh, there's another one. You another ladybug so I can sell you. I get EXP every time I catch one as well. So I'm gonna make all my money, you see. I love that it doesn't stop you from jumping off edges and things as well. Okay. So today I'm going to sell these. Lovely. But I can only sell two... Four tables worth of stuff. Ah. So I have to make sure I sell every day as well. Sell that much in bugs. <laughs> I love that mushroom. It's my favourite. Who needs stairs when you have a mushroom? Okay. So I think that is the end of that day then, because it's 8 o'clock in the evening. I've sold everything. I've done everything I want to do. Unless we do a little bit of tidying up of the farm. Uh, I don't know when I'm supposed to go to bed, but have realised. Probably spend a bit of time collecting building materials and things. And I probably would like to make um, like a nice rug or something for my home. So I have the materials to do so. I made that little step stool thing. Oh, there's some more arugula. Apparently that is very good for you. It's a bit like... Uh... I just figure it's a waste of my stamina, isn't it? To, sit, to go to sleep with a stamina bar absolutely chock full. Utter waste. And it looks like today we'll be able to do two days. Um, last episode we only did the one day because obviously there was a lot of intro, there was a lot of character creation, all that sort of stuff, which tends to take up probably usually the space of one day. That plus there's a lot of reading to do. But I think chapter two is going to be continuing in the morning. I don't think we're going to be on to chapter three. And we're allowed to do up to chapter four. So I will carry on until then and then I think I'm allowed to then continue that if I remember rightly there we are and if I remember rightly I think we're then allowed to continue until kind of like the uh, sorry on the 4th of September there's an embargo there I will double check my emails I've got it all written down But in my head, the main thing I have to remember is no going past chapter 4 for now. And also remember to keep an eye on my stamina, because my stamina is now going down quite sharply. Got some... I'm getting some levels here, though. Getting some serious levels, which is nice. A bit of wood. We've got level 2 logging, level 3 foraging. Level 2 mining. This is all getting me materials as well. So even if it grows back, it's fine. It's like things that I, I can... Ooh, okay. Look. Some stamina for me. Oh, look, there's a peeper. Ooh, ooh. Hello. You're a different colour. Gotcha. Common toad. Time to go home now. Okay, so I think I will always keep out until 
it's time to go home. So if um, we'll water in the morning and clear in the evening, I think that makes sense. Okay. Rare critters and fish sparkle in the wild. Ooh. I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go to sleep for now. See how much uh, money we made. Um, we might do a bit of decorating in the morning. I made 160 from critter catching, just that alone. I am so good at critter catching. A new day has begun. A simple magic staff is ready to turn in. Nice, I am done reviewing that, yep. Alaric and I met where the thorns were the thickest. He presented me with the oldest magical staff I've ever witnessed. But looks can be deceiving, because thorns began receding. The jumbles should be afraid of my new power. Good-natured Azorians need no longer cower. <laughs> okay, so let's return. We now have a magical staff. Is that, um... I don't know if that'll come out with my fishing rod and stuff. Yes, it does, so... I can get my magical staff out and we can do things and we can attack things now. We can actually attack things. Wonderful. Let's go and see Alaric. Ah, Alaric is not there. Okay. Oops. I'll catch you, though. Ooh, scrolls. Play path. So I'm looking forward to the point where I'll be able to make paths and things. Oh, there's more. There's more of those. They're scary. They're so scary. Right, let's go and see where Alaric actually is. Salt, no, I want salt water mines. What? East Town. No. Alaric. He's being tracked now. We will find him. Where are you, Alaric? Oh, scrolls. <laughs> and more scrolls. <laughs> and more scrolls. <laughs> Everywhere. I'm probably missing loads as well. Is it? Oh, is he inside his house? Oh, I didn't think go inside the house. <laughs> wow, his place is cool. Ah. Hi, Sheila. I'm glad you're here. Azoria's got a lot of wild magic. It's my job as a wizard to bring some order to it. Redeem the quest. Okay, she lab it's time to test your might. Try, try thwacking those thorns with your staff. And presto smacko, they'll disappear. No, it's really a magical staff. Trust me, we'll get into the magic stuff later. Now that you have this staff, why not test it out on more thorns? Oh, and keep an eye on your mailbox. That's how Azorians like to communicate. Press and hold X while holding your net. Oh, is that a sneak? Ah! I like... I like that there's not a different thing for sneak as well. <laughs> well. That's fun. That's super fun. Now we can go up here. Yeah. I like it. There's like foggy patches. Can I can I whack them? No, apparently not. Only the thorns. We can get past thorns at the moment, but not foggy messes. The locked door. An emerald woven rug. I need to make some rugs, don't I? I really do. I need to make some decorations for my house. Is it me or is this a whole other farm? Is this someone else's farm? And it's like, exactly like my farm. But it's all messed up. You can go. Bye. Well, I figure I've done enough. It's you, Sheila. Thanks again for taking care of those thorns. You're a natural. What's it like working on a farm? I do my best work under pressure. We haven't got a lot of that in Azoria, though. Okay, let's go. 
I think that's us done for the day with that. So I'll spend some time farming. I haven't even watered my crops today yet, so... Oh, by the way, thank you for the person, uh, I think it was Lindsay, who let me know that it's a D-pad. It is a D-pad. That's the up, down, left, right pad. I'm going to keep doing that, aren't I? Really? I'm going to water my crops. Maybe we should see if we can make any different crops. I don't know, like, um, I'll have to have a look at the calendar and have a look at, like, the uh, planting seasons and things. Now, can I just... Hmm. Oh, if I jump in the water, it refills my watering can. That's how we do it. Okay. I see. Alright, so now I've done that, let's go check the mailbox. No new mail. So today is just a free day for me to go and explore and talk to people and look around and clear thorns from everywhere. Oh, are these like... Is this still my farm? Maybe it is. My shovel isn't strong enough. Well, what's this stuff? But yeah, there appears to be parts of my farm. Let's have a look at the map, actually. Homestead. I think the homestead is quite large, possibly. And goes off into the clouds a bit. So we haven't been to the hazy haze haven, the spooky woods, the verdant valley, or the saltwater mines. It does look like there's someone that wants to speak to me down on the docks, and that is Frida. So let's go and have a chat. There's so much stuff with like exclamation marks and things. Uh, I just want to, like, you know, get through the starts of this first. <laughs> I have a recipe for a barrel found amongst a lot of barrels. It was clearly trying to find its own way. It was, you know, trying to find its friends. <laughs> Alright, so let's have a chat with Frida. What do you what do you do? What do you want? This looks to be the inn. Nice. Hello. The innkeeper who's always pleased to see you. Hey there! Do what you love and you'll work all the time. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> Tell me she love you've gotten to know your Azorian neighbours better. If you haven't, I could give you some tips. I'm a bit of an expert. Okay, reach friendship status, friends with the person of your choice. 500 florins as a reward. Wonderful. Well, a good relationship is like a tasty soup. It takes many ingredients, patience, time, and stirring things up. The last one might not sound like it belongs, but trust me, it does. Now, relationships generally come in two friend flavors, friendships and romances. To build a friendship, try spending time with people. They love having chats. Your friendship will develop, and eventually some people will even want to become your bestie. You can have as many best friends as you like. Market vendors are generally too busy with their crafts to maintain any real relationships. But there are plenty of other people in the island to get close to. Some special residents of Azoria are looking for romance. You can chat with them, help them with gifts, and eventually go on dates. One day, if you play your cards right, you could even get married. Not that you have to, of course. You decide if you want relationships or not. Why don't you go out there and make a friend? Then you can come back and tell me all about them. Okay, so let's have a little look. Probably my, uh relationship tab would be the one to check so i'm acquaintances with reset the relationship interesting with merit and alaric so it might be good to maybe take alaric another thing of muscles maybe or something like that but 
the Marcus. Wisp Mother and Zedo. There's some interesting little little fairy folk, guys. Well, I, I guess it's Fae Farm, isn't it? So that would make sense. Well, I can't wait to meet those. Oh, so these are my romance potentials. So I can have Argyle <laughs> in his in his Argyle sweater, I guess. Um Jack. Fairy boy. Pepper. Piria. Uh I think so. My best bet. Because I haven't met any of the romance options yet. I will, I'm sure. Uh but Alaric would probably be the best one to go and check out. Right, okay, let's go. Ooh, look! There's loads of them around here. Bellows. I got me a... Uh... Any other ones around? I'm gonna have a look now, see. Anything upstairs? Yes. Straw bed. Can I jump over there? Yes. Lovely. Okay, gonna take Alaric some muscles and just see, like, if I can do anything with that. Um, I'm gonna have another chat with some of the people in the marketplace as well. Good to see you. It sure is easier to get around without those thorns in the way. Thanks. Have a chat. Thanks, I'm glad you were able to clear those thorns. Let's have a look at your shop. Soft teal dye. Soft pink dye. Soft orange. Soft yellow. So it'd be a hundred florins to buy that. A hundred for a rancher skirt outfit. That's pretty. But I would want to dye it. Oh, I need undiscovered items. Oh, I can't buy it until I have those undiscovered items either. I could buy a beekeeping hat and a beekeeping outfit. And a rancher skirt or a casual adventurer outfit. But I like my outfit better because my outfit is purple. So let's head back here. This whole little area here as well, like, got so much stuff I can do. It's not overwhelming. I'm gonna clear my farm a bit more now, I think. Go make money, that sort of thing. Until chapter 3 starts, which I think it probably will start... ...in the morning. Because I have now cleared the thorns. But I like that it's giving me plenty of time to clear my farm and do my bits and pieces that I want to do. However, it's not giving me much of a chance to like progress with things like mining and stuff like that yet. So I'm hoping that that will be coming up pretty soon. That would be quite nice. Let me have a look what I can do outside in the build catalogue. So I can do farming plots. Oh, that's probably where my anvil will go, actually. A beverage station, an undiscovered station. So we have to discover these. Okay. I'm sure I picked up an anvil. A field fence, an iron fence. Many, many rugs and paths. So you can put your rugs outside. It's probably more likely to use a, a path, but we'll see. A cobblestone path. A barrel. I can make a barrel. I can make a clay pot. So I'm reminding myself what I actually need to make a, a path. Yeah, so make a cobblestone path. Oh yeah, I can. So if I wanted to make a path through here. Thing is, I 
is, it's a bit wiggly, isn't it? We go from one to the other. So maybe that would be better sort of to divide up my farm or something rather than to make an actual path. I can't go off of this. Actually, that's a point, isn't it? That's a way to work out if my if this is part of my farm, isn't it? Can I build stuff on it? No. Not yet, anyway. Maybe I'll be able to once I've cleared it, but not right now. Hmm. It's a good way of testing where the boundaries of everything is. So, hang on. I can build there. I didn't actually have the build catalog up when I was there. Darn it. Okay, let's go up again and check. Science is important, guys. So, oh, well, the way to tell would be that you can't even bring the build catalog up over here. So that probably will either need unlocking or is not a part of the farm in general. Okay, so let's, uh, let's carry on, just do a little bit of clearing and that sort of thing. But at the moment, I can't make any of the... I would love to make a jute rug or something for my... Place where I have, oh, plant fibers. Oh, I can. But there's certain undiscovered items that I need to make these rugs. So I may need to do something a little bit more for that. But I could put it, I could definitely put a jute rug inside. Which would be really cool. Uh, let's get out of the construction menu because I can't do much clearing with that. Want to make my house cozy, you see. I mean, there's not a lot I can do about these trees at the moment, but I may as well, like I say, use my stamina up every day. Oh, I should head to the market as well. Sell stuff. I've got quite a lot of money at the moment. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've not seen a bee before. Will you sting me? Oh. Well, it's kind of nice that I've got a pink checkered rug, but... Hey, Alaric. Um, nice to see you, but I'm trying to catch this bee. No. Got him. <laughs> I have a feeling bees might be useful later. So I'm not going to sell that one. That one will stay in storage for now. But I'm sure there's a few things that I can sell, like... We've already got one peeper, so I don't need a second one. Oh. Don't need any more of those or those. I need to keep the bee because that's new. Oh, the toad I think is new as well, sorry. So not as good a haul today as we had yesterday. But still keeping on with uh, doing a bit of selling every single day, which is what I want to do. I am level level three at catching now, which is amazing. And then I'll go back to a little bit of... Oh! There's some more. Oh great, well done me. I can jump out of the water like a mermaid. Like a fish. It's amazing. Matt, I've got almost all of my stuff back now. Uh, I've seen a bug there. Bug, come here. I'm not, that is a new one. So what are these anyway that I keep doing? Are these the moats? <laughs> oh. I 
Okay. Got a moat, so I've got like signals. I'm busy, build, go to, I need, follow. So if you don't have voice comms, that's quite useful. I generally wouldn't try to play anything like this without voice comms. Personally, but that is super nice to have if that's what you prefer to play without voice comms or for some reason you can't play with voice comms. Okay, so that's all that a little bit cleared up. Except for the rocks. Let's get the rocks. Probably will send me... I, I think it sent me to bed last night at 10, so... to go in just a minute oh hello froggy i missed oh i missed you didn't i wonder when my turnips are going to be ready okay i'm gonna go in my house now and i'm gonna make myself a jute rug because i feel like i deserve something nice but it does seem like the um, extra stamina kind of hangs around at night. So if, if you get to night time and you want to do a bit of extra, you can definitely keep an eye for that. So I've got my squishy stool. I think I want to make, though, a jute rug. make it one bigger than that I'm gonna put it a little bit under the bed because I don't know why but I kind of like rugs that go like a little bit under furniture um, man I can't do that can I remove okay I can use that. Uh, okay, stand up. This is how we know to. Oh, oh, I can reclaim with Y. Okay. Reclaim, reclaim. I think that's probably enough there. I might move this in a bit. So I can. Oh, A to move it. And it can sit on top of the rug, it just doesn't want to. I like that you can make rugs and things as big as you want, or like whatever shape you want as well. I don't really like these things, these look a bit junky, don't they? Like, no? Oh, it's bedtime. Okay, well I'll see. Oh, it sent me to bed, how dare it. Um, so I think I'm going to end the episode there. So it's um, sent me to bed. I was doing a little bit of messing around. I'll see if I can get rid of the uh, the bits that look a bit more junky in the in the catalogue and just uh, try and get a bit better at doing the decorating. But that was really, really cool. So there's some more details here. All right, so for when I'm... When I'm doing like a million different things. Oh, I see it. it. tells me exactly what I sold and everything. Nice. Okay, well, I think I'm done reviewing. And let's see if Chapter 3 starts now, which it has. So next time, we will be looking at a port in a magical storm. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.